Hello, this is Angela with Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead. And guys, I'm just out in the garden today uh, looking to see uh, what needs to be harvested. And I think I'm going to grab some of these banana peppers. Uh, here's one here that's grown really well. I see I have a few okra uh, that I can get today. see a couple of tomatoes that I need to get here off the vine and then I'll just go on and pull the whole thing out looking over here I have some collard greens that I could harvest and these were some collard greens that were planted in the spring and so uh, it suffered a lot of bug damage um, but I've pulled a lot of those uh, leaves off and they're now coming back with new leaves uh, that I can harvest and uh, take advantage of. Uh, over here I have my asparagus and this is the second year of the asparagus and so I'm hoping that by next year I'll be able to uh, take cuttings from it as you see it's growing really nicely in this raised bed. Over here I have some more okra, and uh, as you can see here, I'll be able to harvest uh, a few more off of these as well. Okay. On the front side of this bed, um, I have some peppers and eggplant. And uh, if I have any peppers, they're probably small. They kind of blend in so well, it's hard to even see them. Oh yeah, here's one, but it's very small. Uh, the eggplants are putting on, but they're still quite small. So I'll leave them on there a little longer. Looking at this herb bed, I can probably come in and get some sage some rosemary and just look at all of this oregano uh, here's some thyme here I need to trim this rose bush back now that it's fall more okra here looks like a few serrano chili peppers I can get here and more okra down on this row here. This one might have stayed on a little bit too long. And then this is a volunteer tomato plant. This is the one that's called the Midnight Snack. And uh, it's not quite ready yet. It's gonna blush a little red. Well, here's one. Actually, there's two down here that are ready. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is what it looks like when it's not ready. And this is when it's ready. Over here, I think I'm gonna pull out all of the green beans uh, today and harvest all of them. And just clean out this entire bed. And I think I'm gonna go on as well and remove all of the field peas out of this bed also. And you see I have uh, a few more here to harvest. And some that have almost, almost dried on the plant. I'm going to grab all of that out of here today. I still have not done any work over in this area, so I do a little bit each day. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I'm also going to go inside of uh, the other garden and get some salad and uh, some peppers and other things. And I'm going to come back 
and show you what everything looks like once everything has been harvested. Okay, and these are the strike bush beans that I have here. Okay, guys, I'll be back with you in just a moment. Guys, this is what I have so far. Uh, as you can see, lots of green beans. And I have gone on and cleared out this bed. And I'll be adding amendments to it. Uh, kitchen scraps, uh, such as my fruit and vegetable scraps, eggshells, coffee grounds. I'm going to add all of that to this area. And I may even take all of these that I have pulled up and just drop them inside the bed as well so that they can break down so when I plant next year um, it won't need uh, so much fertilizer to get my spring and summer crops going uh, but as you can see here I've got lots of green beans and below here I have a lot of peppers and uh, okra spread out throughout in here a few tomatoes uh, but uh, the majority is um, green beans, um, cayenne peppers, habanero peppers, and what have you, uh, but mostly green beans. Um, I haven't had a chance just yet to get the collard greens or the field peas, uh, but that is my next step uh, to get to. Okay, so just keep uh, following along. And I'll be right with you on the next part of the process, which would be to harvest all of my field peas and go on and clean that bed out as well. Okay? Okay, so I have cleaned out uh, the bed with the field peas and this is what I have been able to collect. And I am simply going to uh, put these in a brown paper bag and use this for seeds for next year. And then over here, this looks like a uh, uh, an area where some of the seeds might have dropped, might have dried and dropped off into the soil and reseeded itself because there's a lot of uh, new growth uh, that's coming on, as you can see here, of new peas. And so I'm just going to allow these to mature and then harvest them later. As you see, there are a lot of uh, new shoots coming up, um, but all the rest of them. Uh, were looking like they were dying back and uh, I went on and cleaned out this bed and uh, harvested enough where um, I'll be able to replant uh, more field peas next spring okay and uh, the next thing I need to do is harvest my collard greens and uh, go into the other garden area and grab some salad uh, out of that so that I can make a salad uh, for this week okay and guys here is um, my collard greens bed and I've gone on and I've harvested um, some collard greens from it and as you can see uh, I have a Lowe's bag that I'm using uh, to put all of my greens in and as you can see what well, this is a I'm going to throw this one away. But, uh, oh. Looks like I saw a bug or something in here. So, I may try to wash these outside before I bring it inside of the house. Uh, but as you can see here, this bag is entirely full uh, of collard greens. In which I can probably get maybe one or even two meals uh, off of it. Uh, all different sizes uh, and like I've stated before uh, previously uh, during the summer it had a lot of uh, bug damage and so I removed all the damaged leaves and I used some garden dust uh, over the collards and these are the new leaves uh, that have come forth yeah here's that that bug that I saw here get rid of that Okay, but these are the collard greens that I've been able to harvest today. Okay, guys, I'm almost done. I just want to harvest some of this salad here. Trying to get the outer leaves so as to leave the center to continue to grow. I 
trying to harvest regularly to keep it also from going to seed too quickly. Let's grab a little bit of this basil also. And I'll put the basil as well in my salad. Gives it a nice flavor. Get a little bit of this red romaine as well. It's very delicate. And over here, I have some bib lettuce. These are really going to need a good washing. Oh, look at me, I almost pulled the whole thing off. And I'll grab a little more from here. Alright guys, I'm not going to make this a uh, any longer than it has to be uh, but just wanted to share with you that I'm still able to do a little harvesting uh, this early fall of uh, several things that are still growing in the garden and uh, if you like this kind of uh, content just go on and hit the like button subscribe so you can be notified of uh, future videos and uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for all of your time and for supporting the channel. God bless. Bye-bye.